Band of Heathens got their start at Momo's in Austin, where they parlayed a regular residency into a growing fan base that includes music critics and fellow musicians alike. Their 2010 album, One Foot in the Ether, is a really solid collection of tunes that shows off the band's versatility. It showed up in the paper one, one week. As a Probably five or six weeks after we started doing the Wednesday night residency at Momo's. So um, we're not sure who the culprit was, but um, they deemed it a fitting name for us, and everyone else sort of thought it was funny and, and it stuck. So. Well, besides the fact that we were all have the same mother and different fathers, uh, we, we hooked up again in Austin. At this, at this club called Momo's. Three of these guys were doing their solo act, and I started playing bass with them, and then John Chipman came along and filled in on the drums eventually, and uh, became this hodgepodge of uh, strange men. The residency, kind of the band, even forming over a live show, kind of laid the foundation for what we still do today, whether we're playing a live show or we're in the studio. There's no pressure on those gigs, you know, a bunch of guys show up, they just, it, you, you make a mistake, make it twice, make it big and loud, and just have fun with it and crack up, and then the further and further you go along in any, any type of those residency gigs, those become fewer and far between, and all of a sudden, before you, you look back over your shoulder and it's like, wow, it's, it's a band. It's not just a bunch of guys getting together jamming, you know, it just kind of happens naturally. We're the band of heathens. Tell me what's this world that we're clinging to? It's all for one, but none for two. Pierce your skin with a heart tattoo. Ray actually produced our first uh, studio record, so that was... We kind of met him a, a little bit before that, and he kind of had taken a liking to the band, and um, kind of said, hey, you know, if you guys, um, I think you guys should have me produce your record and it'd be real cool. And we said, I think that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> I took us under his black wing. Yes, exactly. <laughs> he said something pretty interesting to me earlier on, and he, we were kind of talking about the kind of music that we listen to and stuff, and he's like, I just listen to my friends, you know, and I kind of thought about that, and I was like, well, you know, that's, that's a pretty good deal for you because uh, you got some friends that make some really good music, so. You know, but it was kind of interesting because that, I think that kind of speaks um, to the wealth of of music and talent that's kind of come out of this state, you know. Well, sometimes we start playing the songs live before we record them, so in that instance, the first thing is kind of getting it, you know, in a workable form where we can, you can play it live, and, and when we do that, usually, you know, kind of settle into a basic arrangement, and then, you know, parts might change over time, you know, maybe you switch instruments or add some vocal parts or, you know, change who's singing the song or whatever, and then, you know, which is cool, and then sometimes, Songs aren't done until we're in the studio, you know? I mean, the last record we did, I think we finished a couple of the songs while we were tracking them, you know? I think we kind of like to keep order organic either way, you know? It's kind of about the song and, you know, figuring out how to present it best. I think the band's really good at kind of arranging the songs, you know? I think everyone in the band contributes a lot in terms of, you know, like, it, it would be better if the chorus went there or that, you know, I hear that as the chorus as opposed to that being the verse or, you know, it needs a bridge here or we need to, you know, so in terms of that, there's there's certainly a lot of collaboration, you know. Once everyone can kind of tune into what the the original idea is, then they can kind of, they can contribute, you know, to that. Keep it right here, folks. Joe Ely's Texas Legend feature is coming right up.